Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the tag importer file. Now, what I've done is I've created a Word document that contains uh, a mail merge set up already. Now, that mail merge is static. It's connected to high school art show tags template. And so what you want to do is you can um, make a copy of this if you're going to use it. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to control C to copy and then I'm going to click off of it and control V to paste. Now I have a copy of it. I'm going to rename that copy by right clicking and renaming. You can also press F2 on a PC. And we're going to change this to 2014 tag import. All right. And I'll go ahead and open that up. Now, because it's got a connection to my Excel spreadsheet, it's going to ask us Where's the data? That's basically what it's asking. Are you sure you want it? Where's the data? So anyway, we're going to go ahead and say yes. And uh, then if it can't find the data, it can't find the file, it might make you search for that file. In any case, we're going to reset it here in a moment ourselves. Now, uh, what you look at here in this, and like I said, if you get stuck and it's asking you to find uh, the Excel spreadsheet, just see if you can navigate to where the high school art show tags template is. Uh, now, if you obviously keep these two together at all times, you should be um, good for any time you're using it. But if you were to lose this file, it'd be asking you to find another database. Now, I'm going to minimize that. And what this is, is I have these special merge fields. If you bring up the mailings tab in uh, Word, you see that there are merge fields. You can insert ones, and these are all the things, all the different columns that are listed in my document. So all these ones, student first name, last name, school name, all that stuff is listed under these fields. Now we don't need all of them for the tags, like the email address we don't want to put up, but we do want to put up where we have our you know, information about the artwork and stuff. You also might notice that I have uh, some columns set up here. These are actually a table, and that is so that uh, each one flips to the next one underneath. So this artwork title corresponds to is this artwork title. Now what I normally do is have the judge version on the right. So over here, this is the what the judge sees. The title, the category, the media, and maybe if it's for sale or not. Now, the um, you don't have to have that if you don't want to. Uh, and then over on the left side, we put the title, first name, last name, grade, category, media, instructor name, and it's a different formatted letter, and school name and the sale. Now, you can change the colors of these. You can go to home and adjust the colors however you want. Uh, one of the things you also want to notice is that there's this special all-important next record option. This next record tells uh, the program to switch to the next line. So this first line would be John Smith. The second line would be Alice Johnson. Without that next record, you just get John Smith, John Smith, John Smith a million times. The next thing I want you to know is that I've included this... Um, little DM icon and this is my logo and what you'd want to do before you get done is go to the format on each of these and tell it to wrap the text and go behind the text. Now I left that off so it's just easier for you to select. If you put it behind the text you end up selecting the table and it's hard to get to the selection of the picture. Now you can obviously put in any picture you want. Uh, you can change the picture by going to the change picture option under picture tools. And anyway, so now that we got that all done, I'm going to go to mailings. And I'm going to show you how all this stuff looks. If I click preview results, it's going to show me my sample data. And it only shows me the first page, but don't worry about it. Just take a look at how it looks. And so it's doing all this for me. Um, I could add watermarks to the page, I could print it on colored paper, you could do whatever I want. Now I can turn off preview results and in case you're having to find your data, like let's say your data is in a different file, what you do is you go to this start mail merge option and you click on the bottom of it and you go down to step by step mail merge wizard. And what we're going to do is select a different list. If we select a different list, we then can go to where that folder is 
and we can find our tags. Now, obviously, I just have these tags. It'll then ask you to select that table, and yes, we want that table, and it'll show us all the tags here, and we'll go say OK. So now all my um, tags are spitting out. OK. So now the last thing you do is you can preview the results, and if it still looks OK, you can then do the finish and merge. Now, what I do is I choose to edit individual documents so I see it all. So if there's any type of mess up, I can see what's going on. So if somebody wrote a paragraph, I can go back and fix it here. And letters one is going to be, you know, if you had 300 entries, it'll start paging down and you just keep going to the next page. Now, obviously, I didn't have some for this area, so it just put some icons. But we'll see that this is like the last page of the document. So anyway, I wanted you to check this out and make sure that you um, then save this letters one document as your final print me uh, tags document. And then you have your tags ready to go. And that's it for this video.